Okay, Karen, here's the front of the house. You know what, about the worst thing I saw is this car <laughs> left in the driveway. The house actually is in very good condition, so I'm going to walk you through it. So we're coming up in the front here. You can see they got the nice landscaping a little. I'll zoom in on that little statue thing. That's, well, maybe if I can figure out how to do it. Um, yard is nice. Okay. We're coming in the front door. Alright, first thing you will notice, it's clean. Very clean. Um, they took good care of this. Got a nice big staircase when you come in. Looks like uh, this is the garage over here to the, to the left. A lot of junk left in the garage. I'll turn the light on. It's a pretty big garage. They have a irrigation system. It's wired for FiOS. Obviously, they have to clean out the garage. Um, Let's see, you go back through this hallway. To your left is a bedroom with some of the bed and clothes and stuff still left. Very common to have that in these type of houses. Obviously this was a foreclosure and they just left. Um, this is the downstairs bed, or I'm sorry, bathroom. Pretty nice. Okay, back out in the hallway, around the corner is the family room, living area. Again, nicely taken care of. It has a fireplace. And I'm not sure, don't imagine that TV will stay. Okay, over here to the right is the kitchen. There's a large island in the middle. White tile throughout, very plain, you know. It matches pretty much everything. Um, light oak cabinetry you can see. Uh, it looks clean. They actually cleaned the pool. We'll go out through the back here. The pool is not as green as it used to be. <laughs> it's actually clean. Um, really nice area here. They got a little jacuzzi in the pool. Nice. Clean, clean, clean. I'll tell you, all this needs is just a little cleaning up, and this thing is great. Nice big uh, air conditioning unit there. Looks maybe three or four years old. Things are looking smooth. Okay, we're going to go back in and look at the upstairs. Okay, so now we're going back through the entryway. Here's a big pantry. I didn't show you that. Big pantry. And then this is the other side of the formal living room, I would call it. Maybe dining area here. They left some stuff behind. Again, that's common, but it's it's very clean. Nice picture in there. Okay, up the steps. We're going up the steps. White tile upstairs. Very nice. Looks like the 12 inch ceramic tile. Um, this looks like the master bedroom if I had to guess. Very big. This is huge. Yeah, this is very big. You can see, um, again, they left a lot of personal effects behind. We will get that handled for you. Here's the soaker tub, walk in shower clean again nicely decorated all right over here to the left is another just one of the bedrooms again just looks like they left a bunch of stuff here so we'll see what we have to do about that okay here is, uh, I would call this like a sitting room maybe or something. I don't know. It has glass doors. You can see they're off the hinges. I don't really think it's like a bedroom so much. Kind of just like, like a little, little sitting area. Here's another one of the bedrooms. Very clean. The phone's ringing here, so that's interesting. It's not as abandoned as we would think. 
There's an upstairs laundry area. I don't believe the washer and dryer come with it, although I will double check that. Got some laundry in there. Here is another of the bedrooms. I'll turn the light on. Okay. And then that's about it. So we have a five bedroom, three bath, not too shabby. Big giant chandelier in the uh, entryway. Pretty classy. Okay, well that's the house, uh, Karen. I will send you this video.